Pioneering heart transplant surgeon Dr. Robert Montgomery has a passion for his work, which stems from his own battle with heart disease. I had to have um, seven cardiac arrests and almost die before I could even qualify to be listed for a transplant because once you're put on the list, you know, you have to be so sick in order to actually um, have a, uh, an organ allocated to you. In 2018, he received a new heart and a chance to continue his work towards solving the worldwide organ shortage through xenotransplantation, a process of replacing human organs or tissues with animal ones. Pigs are primarily used and their genes are edited to lower the risk of rejection after the transplant. So, so many people die even before they get listed, and then when they get listed in the United States for a transplant, only a third of the people will actually receive a transplant that are on the list. The other two-thirds either get too sick to benefit from a transplant or die. After his heart transplant, Montgomery, who now heads the New York University Langone Transplant Institute in New York City, focused on studying the impacts of xenotransplantation on the human body. In 2022, the Capuano family became a part of Montgomery's research program after Alva Capuano suffered irreversible brain damage. Her family donated Capuano's body to xenotransplantation trials. As her son Tim Capuano explains, contributing to medical research has been one of her final wishes. We've always known that it was important to my mom, Alva. Alva Capuano received a pig's heart and lived with it for three days. Everything was very successful um, in terms of the data that was able to be collected and, you know, the heart pumping and running smoothly um, throughout the 72-hour period until uh, the trial ends. In 2023, Montgomery and his team performed a historic pig kidney transplant on a man whose body functioned with it for two months and didn't reject the animal organ. He says this is just a start to finding a solution to a worldwide problem. This is one step forward, you know, for a solution to the organ shortage worldwide. Um, I think then the next steps are to, you know, accomplish those trials in living humans um, and demonstrate that these kidneys last for a period of time where the person benefits from it either a kidney or a heart, Montgomery says he'll continue to push to find a solution to a growing global problem he was lucky enough to live through. Johnny Fernandez, VOA News, New York.